We say fight back. We say no way. And I'm very proud of the work that you've done sending you across the nation. Um, and I, what I think is key is that you guys have been out here fighting an incredibly long fight with an employer that has no reason to have the nurses out here. Has no reason because they are one of the most profitable for not-for-profit corporations in the, in the nation, right? And it's horrible that they are using you as one of the whipping girls or whipping boys to justify cuts in staffing, cuts in patient care, cuts in services to the community. And CNA has made sure that those cuts are being looked at at the legislature and we're providing a charity care bill. Many of you have heard about that. So that they have to justify the level of care that they're giving to our community members, or not giving, as the case may be. So I want to introduce um, Melinda Markowitz from Good Sam. I'm one of the presidents of CNA, and I'm also another nurse that has been on strike. I work for HCA, who is truly the largest for-profit um, corporation in the world. But you know, we and and Deborah's right. It doesn't really matter who you work for. What the, what it's about is really trying to take away the conditions that we have had and fought for, not given fought for, for ourselves and for our patients and the community. And we are not, and I mean not, going to let that happen. The fact that your corporation has all those takeaways is, to me, disgusting. Because they don't have to do that. They don't have to do that. Just like my employer, they're wanting to take away a lot of the... the good things that we have, had, have fought for in our contract. They do not want to improve staffing. They want to take away our defined pension benefit that we have fought for for years. They want us to pay for our health care. That to me is crazy. And what they're doing and what they don't understand or don't, they don't care, but we're going to make them care. We're going to make them understand is when they come out against us. They're coming out against our patients and they're coming out against the community. And we're not going to let them do it. They will not win. One thing I want to say personally is that, you know, we have over a thousand nurses that we're going to go again on strike next Thursday and Friday. But I want to tell you, you guys are an inspiration to us because we say all the time, these nurses that are striking for Sutter have been doing this for a long time. They are fighting management and, and they say if they can do it, we can do it. these corporations and these hospitals going to understand when you take one of us all on you take all of us on. when you take one of us on you, you take, take all, all of us on. keep up the fight brother and sister and we're there with you every step of the way thank you melinda i'd like to introduce kay mcveigh president emeritus of cna kay i'd like to say a few words I may be a lot older than some of you, but I worked at Alta Bates at one time. I didn't stay there because their policies then were not in favor of nurses and their patients. And I really commend all of you for standing up and telling it like it really is. We need to do that. You know, when I started nursing, I think I made less than 300 a month before taxes. 
And when I came up to Northern California in 65, uh, I got a hundred dollar raise. You know why? Because of the union. So, I admire all of you. I understand what you're going through. Hopefully none of your charge nurses throw the, the um, charts at you because they sure did at me. So I want all of you to understand that even us old chargers really do understand what you're going through. And thank you. Thank you, Kay. I should mention that we're fighting for pensions. When Kay retired, you didn't have one. And if Sutter has their way, we won't have one again. And that's a crime because we need... <laughs> we need to be able to retire with dignity. And at the rate we're going, we're not going to have one until unless we stand up and fight. And that's why you're out here. So I really appreciate that. Uh, I'd like to introduce Martha Cool. She works at Children's Hospital in the Hemonk Department. So come on over. Hi, everybody. At Every time I'm on this picket line, and all of you know we've been out here together many times, I have to thank you for what you're doing for nurses and patients all across the country. It is phenomenal the fact that you are willing to prevent the rollback of both patient care and nurses' standards. And you deserve praise and unity from all of us. And, and the children's nurses at our meeting yesterday have pledged to show up on each of your picket lines throughout the week to offer support and solidarity. But one more thing I want to say is this fight is not just about the hospital here. It's not just about Sutter Kaiser Children's. This is about a country that has decided to allow corporations and the very wealthy to run amok to amass great amounts of wealth and to take advantage of these difficult economic times to get you to agree to rollbacks and cutbacks. And you are out here not just for yourselves, for your patients, or for your immediate community, but you are out here for every working and non-working person that we support across this country. And once again, we cannot Thank you enough because nurses can lead the way in turning this around and making us a country that should be proud of our, uh, uh, our social and economic justice in our society. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. I'd also now like to um, make a new announcement. Deanne McEwen, who was one of the California presidents, um, took a, a position in nursing practice, one of her dear loves, and is happy to be working at CNA in nursing practice. We uh, have now um, uh, appointed a new uh, president for CNA on the Council of Presidents, and I'd like to introduce uh, Koki Giles from Maine. Yeah, uh, as she said, I'm Koki Giles, and I have been on the board of directors at CNA and NOC for eight years. And I think it's because of CNA, all the work you guys have done across the, across the nation, that you're looking out and asking me to come and join in with you as one of your presidents. Uh, three years ago, our hospital, first time a hospital ever went on strike, we did. And we were there, we're out, it was in November. It wasn't quite as nice weather as this. But we were able to go back to the table and Maine was not used to having strikes go on. I think California sees that a lot more than we do. But we had the courage to do that because of what you nurses do out here. And if you're visiting in Maine or Massachusetts or Florida, 
it's so good that we're reaching out and getting all of these places to be union and to have good patient care and to be an advocate because you might be in some of those places and need care for your loved ones or for yourself and I want to thank you for welcoming me into your organization. Thank you. I'd like to thank Nancy Skinner for sending a rep from her office to be here on the strike line. I think it's uh, crucial that we make sure that the elected officials know how poorly Sutter has been behaving. And we will be continuing to put the pressure on Sutter for their charity care or lack thereof. So uh, with that, I want to uh, acknowledge uh, the clinical lab technicians. Technicians have stood up in solidarity. A hundred percent of those lab technicians are out on the picket line supporting the nurses. hundred percent. That's phenomenal. So we would really like to thank them for the entire week, not just today, not just tomorrow, for the entire strike. And that is that is key. That's what solidarity really is all about. So thank you very much. Uh, and it's at both Alta Bates and at Summit. So they are shut down in the lab. Perfect. Now I'd like to call up Anthony, Ray, and Ramon uh, Barraceros. Come on up, guys. Hello, everybody. It's such an inspiration to be here today to see all this red. Um, my name is Anthony Barceros. I'm a RN on uh, 4 East in Alta Bates. I refuse to say Sutter. I just did, but Alta Bates, okay, when I started 15 years ago, it was a lovely place to work. They did nice stuff for us during the holidays. They Nurses, Nurses, Week. Nurses Week, which we didn't get nothing in Nurses Week, just a headache on Epic, right? So, I'm proud to be here. It's such an inspiration to hear all the speakers and to actually be able to talk as one of the floor nurses here that represents the, yeah, keep on honking, that represents the employees of this hospital, okay? We need to stand strong. We need to persevere. I know this is how many strikes? Nine. Nine strikes. Nine. Ridiculous, right? And so our shoes are worn. We have splinters in our hands. Okay, we need to talk amongst each other and spread the word, the injustice that's been happening here at Sutter. So we are not portrayed as a greedy employees. We need to portray Sutter as the greedy employer. Okay, so stand strong. Do not cross the picket line. Be here the seven days if you can. And we need to represent and show people around the world we are the example for other hospitals. Also, they're looking towards us to see if we're going to fold or not. If we fold, all the hospitals will pounce on that and uh, follow suit of what Sutter does. So we need to set a good example and we need to stay strong and be out in the picking line and represent. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Ray Barceros and I'm from 4 West over at Summit, our sister hospital here. And I just want to tell you, two years, nine strikes, enough is enough. If we want a contract, and when do we want it? Yeah! Enough is enough. enough is I'm fighting for my family. I'm yes. fighting for you guys. I'm fighting for our patients. Yes. How many of us have worked such strong patients and having no help and no, no, yeah, no relief? No breaks. Come on. This is ridiculous. Enough is enough. Thank you. I'd like to make you um, introduce now Zenny Cortez, the other um, COP, Council of Presidents, President for CNA NNOC. Just so you know, the California Nurses Association NNOC represents nurses in Nevada, Texas, Florida, Pennsylvania, yeah. Illinois, and Maine, and Florida. So it is not a stretch to make sure that at least one of the out-of-state 
offices belongs to an out-of-state person. So, you know, poor little Koki here it made sure that it was really important for her to be here today because of the, the strike. So thank you very much and send it come on up. Southern nurses, we've been down this road before. Yes. Nine strikes. Yes. So maybe around this time next year, um, we're, we're setting, you know, um, we're getting ready for our contract negotiations. Kaiser contract expires August 31st, 2014. What you guys do and what the outcome of this nine strikes and maybe more would set the tone on how we do our bargaining next year. So we're looking out, we're looking up to you guys to set the standards. So on behalf of 17,000 Kaiser RNs, please keep up the fight. We will be with you all the way because whatever happens here might be happening to us. So keep it up. So not only do we have nurses from all over the state here to support the Sutter nurses, but we have Gina West, and her sister Sandra, both are RNs, and Sandra is from the, the Royal Hospital of London. So come on up, Sandra and Gina. support you guys until the 20th strike. Yes. Are we going to reach there? Are we going to get there? Anyway, I, my, I brought my sister here to uh, show solidarity. Come on. She's Hi, hello guys. California ladies. I flew all the way from London just to be with you. I made it a good timing just to be with you on the strike. We are also working on the same thing. No cut, no takeaways. But yeah, I, I, I really looked up and salute you guys. You're doing a great thing here. And uh, I'm here to support the global unity for US nurses and UK nurses as well. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. So you can see the voice has gotten out there. Your message has gotten out there and is reaching all of your colleagues all over the country. <laughs> so now I'd like to bring up Jane Sandoval. She's a CNA Board of Directors and she's Chair of the Sutter JVC. Let's hear your voices. You take on one of us? You take on all of us! I can't hear you! You take on one of us? You take on all of us! That's what I want to hear. My name is Jane Sandoval. I'm a staff nurse at California Pacific Medical Center, another Sutter facility. Woo! Woo! Sutter hurts communities. Let me tell you firsthand, they wanted to close my hospital. But guess what? We stayed solid and St. Luke's is open today because of solidarity. Sutter says healing hands. Are you kidding me? Stealing hands. They steal from the community. They hurt communities. And what now? We plus you, we booze, Sutter. Yeah, we strike you, Sutter. Stay solid. In 2010, they wanted to close St. Luke's Hospital down. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for not losing steam as the lawyer in negotiations wanted us to do. He just presumed we would lose steam. But all these years later, we kept the hospital open. It's being rebuilt the right way. And we got our contract too, so yes, it can be done. Stay solid. Do not give up hope. We were able to move this mountain called CPMC, and we did it. Stay solid. You take on one of us? You take on one of us? You take on all of us. Stay solid. Okay, I'd like to bring up one of the activists um, here at Alta Bates, um, Efren Garza.
My name is Efren Garza and I'm a psych nurse over at the Herrick campus. I've been here for nine years and in those nine years I've seen nothing but decline in our health care system ever since Sutter came in and took over. So what do you say to that? Are we going to put up with it? No! And I say H no. Okay? In, 24 months ago, we started uh, negotiations with what we thought were going to be good faith bargaining sessions. And in those 24 months, yeah, in those 24 months, we've seen nothing but a plethora of, uh, of demands from Sutter saying that because of health care reform, they are not going to be uh, validly uh, being able to maintain this hosp hospital system any longer, and they want to put it on the backs of us, the nurses. What do we say to that? No! They have accumulated nearly five, what is it, five billion or more? Five billion. Five billion or more dollars in, in uh, profit in the last few years, and yet they want more. Shame on Sutter, yes. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. And what kind of uh, concessions and demands do they want? They want to eliminate sick time so that nurses who are ill can either risk financial uh, disadvantages at home and put their families at risk or come in and, and put themselves and their patients at risk by coming in sick. Now is that right? No! No, not right at all. Shame on you, Sutter. And, Shame on you. Shame on you. and then they complain about the fact about how much money we as nurses make. What about Pat Fry? Why don't we talk about Pat Fry and how much money he makes? He makes over $5.1 million, and that's just uh, before taxes, you know. And then he complains about the fact that we're going to get some supposed outrageous retirement of $86,000 a, a year. I don't know where they get this Sutter math from, but yet he doesn't seem to mind the fact that he's going to get $1.1 million in retirement now as we speak on a yearly basis. Now, is that right? No! I say no. Shame on you, Sutter. Shame on you. They have the highest paid executives in all of the healthcare field in California. So that must mean that they have the highest paid healthcare executives in the nation, if not the world. But yet, they want to take away your sick time, my sick time, our ed leave, and our vacation. Now, is that right? No. And are we going to put up with it? No. So what are we going to do? We're going to fight back the cider attack. We're going to fight back the cider attack. We're going to fight back the cider attack. We're going to fight, fight back the cider attack. Go! And I want to acknowledge our brothers and sister in Che, Manjeet Palaan, and Maria Boas. Come on up. I'm Manjeet, I represent radiology department yeah. from Summit, yeah. and department. And I'm getting better at speaking at this. I was nervous in the beginning. <laughs> so I'm getting better. But I've been strong. We've been all strong. All these strikes. We're here to stay and we're gonna hear we're here to win it. We're not gonna give up. We deserve all the benefits. We don't want any cutbacks. So we're here to win it. My name's Maria Boas. My mother's Ann Boas, who is a um, psych nurse at Herrick for 48 years. I was on my first strike back in 1968. So these aren't new. I wish they would stop being here, but they won't to give us what we need, and they want to take away what we have fought so long and so hard for that it's just not fair. We need to be united. We need right. to stay the course. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. So, it's interesting, they have sleazy math when they're coming to figure out our pensions, our benefits, our salaries, and then they hire the best public accountants they can get 
to figure out their corporate salary, restructure their profits, and steal away from both nurses, our families, our community, and steal care from our patients, making our patients pay even more and more outrageous charges for being in the hospital. That's got to stop. And it's only going to stop because the nurses are out here talking about it day in and day out that there is something that they can do about it. And that's the charity care bill and that's key. It's going to be a fight to get it out in the legislature and to get it passed and signed by the governor because the hospital association is going around hand in hand with one of their buddy unions and I'll leave you to figure out which one that is hand in hand going around and saying that they don't need a charity care bill because they provide charity care and you and I know that that's a lie and so we want to make sure that they start using the sleazy stop using the sleazy math to figure out how to mess over with our patients I'm in public and start actually dealing correctly with what care our patients get and who provides that care so I'd like to um, close with Ann, um, Ann Gabler who's a nurse negotiator and CNA activist and has been here for every single event. you girls and guys and guys sorry. so I have to tell you I, very few of you have ever met my husband but he's a very quiet guy and he would be dying if he knew I was even talking about him up here but um, when we had the telephone phone call about we we're gonna give strike notice and we we're gonna go out on strike I texted him afterwards you know after we had given the notice and it was all public information I texted him and I said okay May 17th, seven days, and my man of few words texts me back, now that's a strike. So here we are again, two years, nine strikes, and a few days later, and I'm a little bit at a loss for words uh, about what to say here, because the story is the same. We started negotiating in good faith, Sutter said, yeah, that's not going to happen. We want it all. And we said, yeah, that's not going to happen. We want to hang on to it. And we've been fighting that same battle back and forth. And for me, what it really, really boils down to is where is Sutter at in terms of respecting us and respecting what we bring to this facility, to this corporation? Anthony said he started here 15 years ago when it was a nice place to work. In August it'll be 32 years for me. And it was a really nice place to work. I was a respected member of the healthcare team. As a new grad, I was given the training that I needed to do the job that I need to do on an everyday basis. I was taught how to take care of little teeny weeny babies and as that technology progressed, the training progressed. We had in-services, we had days where they were ed leave days where they took us out of staffing and actually had classes for us to teach us what we needed to know to stay current with technology and do our jobs well. And it's true in every discipline. The technology has changed at what we are doing to take care of our patients has changed. Now what we get is emails, huddles, a memo in the break room that you might see, and then a slap on the hands when you're not following the policy correctly. That's not respect. That's disrespect. And we see that, we have seen that over the last two years at every step along the road. We go in saying we'd like to hold on to what we have. Sutter says, you don't get to hold on to what you have, and we're going to take a whole bunch of stuff away, but we've made over five billion, almost $5 billion since 2005. That's not even 10 years. 2005 is eight years ago. $5 billion in profits, and they can't pay the nurses what they're paying them now. We can't do this because of the Affordable Health Care Act, which, by the way, they lobbied for. 
Okay, so where's the sense in that? We can't do that because we're a charity care organization. I don't think so. It's disrespect at every step along the way. From when we first went and they started talking about our sick leave and the lawyer said, well, how do we know that the nurse didn't pick up the disease at a bar in Soho? <laughs> One of the firing salvos two years ago. The most recent salvo, the memo that went out at, at Summit with the pig with the dollar sign on it that listed the names of nurses that had done some overtime. So you want to get paid for doing the work that paid in the way that your contract describes you work more than eight hours you get paid time and a half and you're a pig a greedy pig I don't think so and what Sutter doesn't seem to get is that that we're smart people we're smart men and women we live in an age of public media where we can text each other and email each other and Facebook each other and say, hey, look at the pig memo. Right. Hey, this thing is happening on my unit. Is it happening on yours? We're not insulated. We're us. We're we. We're the nurses. And the thing that Sutter doesn't seem to get is that they can keep firing the disrespect at us. But we respect each other and ourselves too much to let that happen. Yeah. And we respect our communities too much to let that happen. So what I want to say here, the thing that I keep coming back to over and over again, no matter what it is, we respect ourselves. We're in it to keep what we have. We're in it for the future generations. I see that every day. I see it from, you know, one of the nurses that I work with told me a story yesterday about how the doctor, one of the doctors was going through the unit and talking to the parents about the fact that we were going out and saying, well, the nurses are going out on strike because they don't get enough money. So she pulled the doctor into a room and said, can I have a moment with you? The doctor said, yeah. She says, we've worked together for 25 years, haven't we? She says, doctor says, yes. She says, uh, we have mutual respect for each other, professional respect, right? I respect you, you respect me. Doctor says, yes, of course. A little worried about where this conversation is going, you know. So the nurse says, so I have to tell you, there's a rumor going around the unit that you're telling the parents that we're going out because we're not getting paid enough. We don't get enough money. The doctor says, oh, oh, no, no. no. Well, we heard you say that. Well, we need to talk to the parents. The doctor says, we need to talk to the parents about the fact that we're going out on strike. Okay, you can say we're going out on strike, but if you want to know what the real issues are, you're welcome to come to my union meeting at any time. She said to the doctor, you, have only heard the side of the story from Sutter. We've been at this for two years. You've never asked me the issues. And I'll tell you, as a nurse negotiator, one doctor out of the doctors that I have worked with have, has asked me, and what are the real issues? We get the emails from Sutter, what's your side of the story? So that, to me, that example of that nurse sticking up to the doctor and saying, you know, if you're going to talk about this, talk about it with the straight facts. Don't walk around telling my community, telling my patients' families that we're in this for the money because the money has nothing to do with it. It's about respecting ourselves. We see other examples of respect in the, the fantastic words that uh, Ramon wrote. He wrote a beautiful Facebook uh, letter about how we needed to, if we weren't going to stand up for ourselves, we had to do it because nobody else would. And we're not only doing it for ourselves right now, but we're doing it for the future generations. We see another example of that is uh, of in our unit we have the nursing students. And there was a nursing student from Summit Hospital with us uh, last night. And we were in the break room and she came in and sat down for a little while and was listening to us. 
And as she got up, she said, well, I have to go now. You know, I have to go home and do homework and get ready for my next day. But as she, she stood up, she says, thank you. Keep it up. Don't give in. We're doing it for her. We're doing it for her and all of her other people, all of her other students. So here we go. Right now, we're at R-E-S-P-E-C-T, seven letters, seven days. We are in it to win it. If it takes seven times seven times seven, we'll still be here demanding the respect that we deserve, that we have worked hard over years and years and years to earn. We cannot let them take anything away from us. What everyone says is true. The eyes of the nation are on us. The nurse from Kaiser who said, if you guys lose it, we're going to lose it. It's going to be a domino effect. And we need to continually remind ourselves the respect that we have for each other the respect that we have for our patients and the respect that we have for our community that's what this is all about thank you Ann. so eloquent and right on and we got to make sure that we have Sutter to stop using the sleazy math that they use to deny care to deny nurses their benefits, to deny nurses their ability to provide patient care. So thank you all for coming. We'll be here, we are supporting you. We'll be out here for however long it takes to make sure that we win this fight. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.